Hi everyone, welcome to another video in our series on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFPs. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to edit the energy and low power timers of your Kyocera Task Alpha MFP. The low power and energy timers on your device will allow you to uh, set restrictions for your machine based on the average power consumption in your office. For example, during periods of low volume, you can set the timer restriction to a lower number, say 10 minutes, saving energy and therefore saving money when using your copier. But during high volume parts of your season, you can lengthen the duration of the energy timer, uh, and this will allow the copier to remain active for longer periods of time before going into sleep mode. So the way that we do this is we go to system menu and then go to page two, and then date, timer, and energy saver. It will ask you to enter your login, username, and password. If you do not know this information, please reach out to your Kyocera service provider and they'll be more than happy to provide it for you. Once you're logged in as an admin, you'll see two different options here. You will see the low power timer here, as well as the sleep timer. The low power timer we can change to up to 120 minutes. The sleep timer, we can change also up to 120 minutes. The difference between the two is that the sleep timer puts the machine into a deeper uh, energy conservation mode and it takes uh, roughly 30 to 40 percent longer for the machine to enter a ready state. The low power timer sets it into a, uh, a higher energy mode as opposed to sleep timer and it keeps the uh, fuser active as well allowing for quick recovery and quick first time to print. And that's it, folks. In today's video, we discussed how to edit and manage the low power and sleep timers on your Kyocera Task Alpha MFPs. Once again, my name is Sam Hammond, lead product trainer here at Boston Document Systems. I want to thank you for joining me and have a great day.